essence what we're doing here is replacing the hundreds of thousands of white sea bass adults that have been lost due to habitat changes in Southern California and to fishing pressure over the last 50 years. And we're replacing them artificially by increasing survival of larvae and juveniles in a controlled environment and then transferring those fish out into the wild. And we use what we call an intensive approach. That is a small surface area growing a lot of fish we use an approach where different life stages of the larvae going up to their juvenile size are grown intensively from one uh, culture system to the next and then that way we're able to utilize the entire facility 12 months out of the year. So these are white sea bass eggs. You can see these eggs are only about a tenth of an inch in diameter. They tend to produce a lot of eggs and broadcast them out because it's a numbers game for them. So. One female can produce several million eggs in a spawn, and she'll do that four or five times in the spawning season. We've in effect created a supply of juvenile fish that can be used for replenishment, and the same technology can also supply fish for as livestock directly into farms that can grow the fish out to a marketable size where they can be taken directly from cages and then brought to market, thereby creating not only a year-round supply of seafood instead of just a seasonal supply, but also creating uh, a source of seafood that isn't dependent on wild stocks.